we find ourselves an absolute avalanche of, of cities that are looking for solution of public transport, which today ferry boats and stuff, are, they're good, but there are a lot of people that get on, and today's world, everybody's, let's move. So they want to be faster in and off, on and off, and um, what we see is that uh, every city is getting more and more crowded. You get uh, traffic jam on land. Every city has been built mostly using the waterways, whereas today they're kind of been abandoned, or, or you have some ferries going on with uh, more tourist rides and stuff like that. So what we're trying to do is to bring a system to those places, which is uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, it's a foiling boat, so the foils cut the water, supposed to push it leaves no noise because uh, the power is electric and no pollution. So pollution being number one. And it could be autonomous. Yes, this is uh, something we're looking for partners in this domain because uh, we're not trying to sell ourselves for what we're not. I'm the windsurfer guy alone, it's the skipper. And uh, our technology is, is in what we know, in the falls and the composite and stuff like that. So with an with a autonomous uh, boat, obviously every boat today goes on autopilots. So it's a little bit less complicated than I think here to do it on the, on the street. You have less things to hit. That's also very good. In a boat like this, you can have sonar in the foil, you can have a 3D scanner. So it's probably a little bit easier to handle as opposed to a car. And, uh, and uh, we're looking for the different options right now, but we're, we're a startup, so uh, step by step. How are regulators looking at this? Our regulators is always the same. When you show up with something new, they go, oh my God, what are you guys doing? Never, forget it. And then after a while, they come, yeah, you know what? So uh, our biggest fan at this stage, we have Anne Hidalgo from uh, the mayor of Paris, which has really been helping us a lot to, to bulldoze the, the way forward, because at the end of the day, the more success we have, the better it is for everybody. There's less pollution, there's less traffic jam, there is a fun way to go to work, great. Give us a sense of, therefore, how quickly this could come to market. How soon can this become a reality? This uh, boat as a scale one will be in the water in uh, one month from now. And, uh, and the system we're gonna deploy, that means the dock, the boat, the app, catch a bubble on your phone, that will be uh, ready to show in Paris in June this year. So quickly, and I'm looking at the numbers, we're seeing four people passengers, one driver, eventually could carry five people. This isn't a big ferry you're envisaging, this is more like a taxi. Yeah, we're looking for, right now it's like a taxi size. Oh, the bubble is pretty much the length of a car, a little bit wider, and uh, it holds now five to six people depending on, you know, batteries have come forward quite a lot this year. Mm. We started the year with 20 kilowatt hours for 200 kilos, now we're down at 90 kilos. So it's uh, advancing very quickly. Uh, a falling boat is very uh, weight sensitive. So the quicker we get the weight down, the more people we can add. So these are things that we will know as we start prototyping the real size and we see who is porting up with us now for batteries and stuff like that, where this is actually gonna go. I see, and where it will be produced. Exactly, basically, that's the next thing. We're gonna produce sea bubbles with the docks and everything in the continent where we supply them. Here in the, in the US, um, for instance, San Francisco, I think we can pretty much save people half an hour going from downtown to the valley, Silicon Valley, uh, each way, so an hour a day. Uh, the boats will, will be produced in the U.S. for the U.S. market because it makes no sense for me to, to pay all the money to shipping companies to ship bubbles all over the world. So we have uh, boat yards, very capable ones here in the U.S. that will be able to do this uh, very easy. So give me the utopia, give me the dream. How big does this become as a company? Uh, put it this way. In a place like New York City, you have the Hudson River. We're talking about four or five knots of current. I put my dock in the water. I have water turbines below it. I have power walls on the wall. I create the energy the bubble needs to go. So it's plug and play. I don't need the energy from the city to move the fleet of sea bubbles throughout the waters in New York. So for me, that's pretty cool. I like that. So it's, uh, we're shooting different places, have different needs. Here in San Francisco, you don't have the same current in this way, but you maybe have more solar. So we're looking at all these sort of options, but at this stage, it's, you know, it's early stages, but we'll see more come March, April, May.